picked it up. And again, it was in, and it won them the game. If they're able to play the PL in that way, do you think they can get ahead of Secret and stay ahead of Secret? It's definitely possible because they do have the better early game heroes like Beastmaster is weak pre-6. Wind Ranger isn't really good until the 7 to 10 mark where Shackle Shots last a lot longer. I mean, if Seeker can do a great job on Bane, get a fast level 6 there, yeah, they could make a lot of kills around the map, but um, Secret should be able to outfarm them in a lot of ways. But I, I think Meneski does have the better early game, so yeah, they could get ahead, they could dominate in that way, but do they have the same ability to do that that Secret would when they're ahead. I also think Secret has the definite possibility to play from behind, so we'll see how it turns out. All right, seems good. Thanks, Purge. And let's get ourselves into the game. So game one between Mineski and Team Secret. A lot of people are going to be very interested to see how this one pans out. We have seen, of course, that Mineski, they can step it up. They got to the yeah. upper bracket here. We casted them against Ehome, and these guys can be incredibly scary. Yeah, they're very talented at all their positions. They have very good teamwork. Maybe they're a little over aggressive sometimes, but I, I think they can definitely take it a secret and get at least one game, possibly two out of this. Oh, here we go. I mean, in terms of the lanes from both sides, obviously we saw the fact that Misery with that final pick, he's going to be on that solo lane. Magnus, do you think we are going to see safe lane try lanes from both teams, or is anyone going to switch it up? Um, I don't think Mineski really wants to do an aggressive try lane. While they do have the better early game heroes, they they're heroes that can profit a lot from roaming. If they dedicate them in the off lane, then it it would leave their, their carry um, by himself more often than not, and I don't think that's really what they want to do. It's definitely a lot better if they just do a safe try lane, uh, do Darkstar in the off lane, that'll be a good uh, good zoning against um, the Ember Spirit, and then later on they can use their slight level advantage and oh. slight better early game to win. All right, G Potato, he's just going to blink himself away from that one as Pilot o was there. Jesse Vash just forcing back Misery away from that top rune, so going to be able to secure that one here. It's not going to be going to the mid laner by the looks of it, the side of, of Neski, and uh, in fact, PL will be able to grab that one. Cuckoo taking the top, and Weeha will claim himself the bottom, and it is, of course, that Weeha Wind Ranger. We know this is one of those heroes that he's incredibly terrifying to go against, and, and it's going to be interesting to see how this queen can do against him in the mid lane. They're actually doing really interesting lanes. Okay, uh, I okay. think this is Mineski predicting what Secret was about <laughs> right. to do, because Secret has yeah. moved the Ember Spirit to the off lane, basically, and they put Queen of Pain down there. Now, if it was a Phantom Lancer in the safe lane, that's a hero that um, isn't necessarily going to trade amazing against Ember Spirit, but oh, the Courier okay. getting killed here. That was with a four? Are you kidding me? That was with the... Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. How do you even do that? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, Puppy's turning up today. And, uh, well, already bottom lane, Jesse Vash just training hits with Envy, and Envy was going to get the void slow on oh, him, and in fact, geez. he's in a bit of trouble here, moving forward with a Thunderstrike, he's going to get fairly low, Pylite die, trying to do what he can to save Envy, but he's going to give his life up, first blood there to Mineski, they do save Envy, but nonetheless, Mineski still getting the kill. So that's going to put Quap really low. He's got to be slightly careful here. There's a small chance he could die, but he's got enough tangos where he should be able to heal up. Yeah, look at that. Down to 50 oh. HP. Pi can zone him so easily. He even has to defensively blink. He can't even stand in his lane here. And with only two tangos left, as you said, the fact they don't have a courier still for a minute and a half, it's going to make it very hard for the Quap to come safely back into lane. So CS for... Uh, Envy should start to look pretty good. He should be able to catch that up. Mid lane at the moment between the PL and the Wind Ranger, as expected, it is the edge here for Weeha. Nine for three compared to the five for one. But uh, in terms of lanes, as you said, do you feel this is the best decision from, from the side of Mineski? I, I'm not 100% on that just yet. Um... We'll see how it turns out, because obviously they did just get a bit of an advantage, but they invest a lot in early items like boots and no talismans, so they don't have as much regen as a hero typically would. They might also contest Ooh. the rune here. We'll see. Yeah, we've got a few heroes looking around this void onto Pylite Dial. Turn around with the brain step onto Jesse. It's going to still continue to chase, and there's your Shadow Strike getting the slow through the Thunder Strike as well. He blinks forward aggressively, trying to get the right clicks through. It's going to bring Pylite Dial fairly low. Not quite low enough to kill him here. Maybe, in oh. fact, one more should do it, and Pylite Dial, he may tick down. Puppy now trying to look for a return bit of action. Bane's going to be fine. Does get the Tango out, living on just about 20 HP, and Puppy chasing down. He's hungry for action. He gets the ball slow through, but he's not going to chase any deeper. He, in fact, turns around. Potato gets the strike up a puppy he's just manning up forces raging potato to blink away and puppy at the moment causing a lot of issues for Mineski across the map yeah just a stout shield and your basic four armor and beastmaster is very happy to trade he does 68 base damage on average as well and it's not a huge range so he can trade very well against these guys he is getting a little bit behind in terms of levels but and they also re-sentry the the pole camp as well so the two supports here on Mineski aren't going to be able to get very much from that lane is this the worst though i mean they could maybe sacrifice 
sacrifice Quap a little bit, but in the off lane, uh, Darkseer is going to be doing really well. And in the mid lane, seems like PL's doing just fine. 15 CS matching Weeha and the Wind Ranger. So I, I feel like they should maybe roam with their supports a little bit. I, it would be hard to kill a Wind Ranger, though. So maybe it is better just to go back to the trial and keep fighting. And bottom lane, they've got to be very, very careful. The Sidemen Esky if they come out. And I mean, as you were saying in the mid, the PL, he's, he's, he's done a great job. He's 18 for four now against the 17 for three. Yeah, he's not the worst mid hero, actually, because any harass you take, you, you're happy to spam Lance to zone your opponent a little bit. I think that's pretty good. If you ever want to go aggressive, you can use Phantom Rush. Oh, oh initiation yeah. on bottom. There's your nightmare setup. Envy's going to move forward. He gets the chains onto Poe for the heroes. They'll look for Jules first and they'll find it. That's going to be the first kill. Jesse Vash now coming in with a TP. Let's see if they can find anything off the back of it. Looking to trade hits with Pilar Dai, but Raging Potato takes a brain step to the face and Secret will just get away with the kill. No return from Maneski. It's a very weird trial lane for Secret, but it's completely working out. I think a lot of that really was the lack of regen that we had on Queen of Pain. If she had a salve that one time they got the first blood and she was oh, able to Oh, the shackles there, and look at this. He's trying to go for the deny, but doesn't manage to deny the rune. It's still picked up, and now Weeha could be in trouble. Cuckoo trying to chase this in. He's going to try and walk this off, Weeha. Should be fine. I'm feeling a lot of aggression, and that's of course Weeha with the empty bottle, and Cuckoo now with a top top one. Envy is going to find himself a regen down here. That'll be really good for him. Um, looks like he might let it go to the Wind Ranger. Yeah, though. but yeah. she just wants to be. Oh, oh Jesse Vash. Yes. Oh, oh, Jesse. He oh, he chickened out. I feel like he could have gone for that. Neither of them had mana. He may not have known that, but that would have been would have been big. I really think they did need more regen, though, because after you get a kill, if you're put down to low HP and the support respawns, in some ways it's good for the support. Yeah, you gave them gold, but you show back up to the lane, and this is the first time Queen of Pain has been full HP. If she was able to salve instead, they could have pressured Pi. They're going to try and go again, oh. but there we go. The Nightmare Talk is up, and he still gets the chains down, and they've got the damage. They'll take down Raging Potato before he can blink away. And a second kill for Secret on this bottom lane. It's good try by Jules. He put the Nightmare on himself so that Queen of Pain could get away, but the Syrian Chains came just in time, and no blink there means that Queen of Pain gets pump, uh, punished. So in a lane where you thought maybe Eternal Envy was going to die a lot, he's actually getting an advantage here. He's got 21 CS, he's got a kill and assist to his name, and Secret's got to be really happy with this, especially because on the other side of the map, Misery has a lot of levels. He's up to six now, and that means that he's going to be able to get a lot more done in the early game from a ganking perspective, and he's going to have a lot of extra levels of Empower. So Envy's doing well. We have on the mid lane, Weeha's trading at least even and Misery's going to have way more levels than normal, which means it's going to further accelerate Envy. This is looking like a really good game for Secret right now. But at the same time, considering how a lot of people would have had a perspective of Maneski going into this one, they're, they're stepping up to a level that's showing to be even equal to Secret at the moment because they're not getting crushed in these lanes by any means, and they are managing to keep up at a certain level. Yep, but I think their mid-game outlook is not looking as good because of the farm that Secret is getting. So, yeah, they have some interesting ideas, and things are working out okay for them right now, but it's definitely looking like a good secret game for the mid game. Okay, Cuckoo's going to look for the rune here. We'll see if he tries to go for it. Both Puppy and MVR are there. He's just going to man up and fight. He and he'll get, get the rune as well. Takes it. Now Jesse's coming in. Throws down the void. Cuckoo fairly low, but he'll be able to doppelganger up to the high ground. And he's going to be fine. And again, just gets away with taking the rune from right under Secret's noses. I don't know if I'd say gets away with. He lost 400 HP here, which is... Ah, he's got the bottle filled up. So he ran to a rune. He lost all of his HP, which is now countered by the fact that he gets a bottle. But he could have had that HP without being there. So really all he did was chance dine and and get a bounty rune, which is, you know, he could have stayed mid and got equal farm and had the same HP. I, I don't know if doing that was necessarily worth it. I mean, if they had a bottle, yes, and it was actually. Oh, misery. I will pretend we didn't see that one. The, I was... uh, misclick? Or... Yeah, yeah, misclick. Oh, that's unfortunate. Not great from that. Envy did have a bottle, though, so he was countered, and that's pretty big. So, no bottle for Eternal Envy. I guess it was worth it after all. Level 4 and Queen of Pain now. She's got boots and a bottle, bottle in the base. And Destructor's still sitting behind, just in case she gets in trouble. Puppy picking up level 3. Actually getting two levels of Wild Axe is a little interesting skill build here. A lot of players will be maxing out Wild Boar, even when playing a support Beastmaster, but Puppy's seen a bit different here. Oh, we can see at the top, the Sardom and Esky were looking for something, still trying to use this night time, but there is that lane wall from the Dire, so Secret are well aware that Night Stalker's up there looking to dive with the shell. I'm going to actually send the Night Stalker now bottom, see if they've got any better luck against Envy and Puppy. Got three of them there. There we go. Envy's trying to lead in himself. The axes are well bringing Raging Potato fairly low, but Jesse Vash is coming in. They get the void down, and there's the Glizzards back as well. Do they have the damage? And they do. They'll take down Envy there, Maneski. And mid lane as well, Weeha just getting pressured back. 
And that's Mineski a, keeping it even on the board, and that's a big kill to get. Yeah, and a really good gank, too. That was cool. The, they put Iron Shell on the Night Stalker. He teleported the bot lane, I think. Otherwise, there's no way an Iron Shell could get across the map. No, it's right, because he was up top. They saw him come into lane from the ward, and then he just hid in the trees, TP'd from the trees behind the tower, so Secret still thought he was top looking for the kill. Yeah, that's really smart. That's reading the map, basically thinking they probably had an Observer Ward in the area. And sometimes one of those ways where knowing that they have vision can really help, because you can trick your opponent like that. Haste rune picked up on Queen of Pain. She could maybe pressure Puppy here, but very high chance he gets him. I'm still a little confused how the boar killed the courier. It must be, I know he does piercing damage, so maybe the courier has unarmored or something, so he took bonus, because a regular courier has 100 HP, you know? He would have had to hit it like a lot of times, so. I never knew you could do that with the level one boar. It's a pretty cool trick. Oh, mid lane pilot does come in to try and help. We are top lane, moving in on Ryo. He'll vacuum back misery. He goes forward with the Stuart, and there's your RP. This time it will connect, and they should be able to find the Dark Seer there with Remnant Burst from Envy. But Secret are able to find a kill this time with the RP. So, yeah, 47 CS on Magnus here. He's level 8 now. He can basically gank passively because he's ahead of his opponents. He doesn't have to worry about dying like a typical offline Magnus. I could definitely see Misery doing some great things this game. I mean, in terms of you talked about the mid game before, is that that's really going to be the go time here for Mineski, you feel? Uh, I was supposed to be. Um, I don't know if it'll happen now. Uh, Night Stalker's four and nine minutes. Disruptor's sitting at level four as well. They never got control of their pull. Secret blocked it twice in a row with sentry wards. Normally they just put one sentry down, but that means you only have to wait till about two and a half minutes or so to end up pulling again. Instead, now they're, this is the first time I've seen them start a pull here, and it's nine minutes in, and their supports are definitely under leveled. And they're both supports that kind of need levels. Like Night Stalker, you can get away with maybe being under leveled, but as soon as Disruptor hits six, you go on the map and you start getting kills, and they've delayed that massively, whereas the here on the safe lane on the Radiant side, or the Dire side, sorry, was Misery on the Magnus, so he's already set up a kill. So they're definitely behind in their gank potential, and with Queen of Pain dying once in lane as well, you know, they're, they're a little bit on the back foot. And I'm mean, just looking at the two cores that Mineski have got, this Queen of Pain and PL, you look at the side of Secret, they've got a lot of ways to catch these mobile heroes out. Yeah, they do Blink Dagger on Wind Ranger, which will eventually come, they can do Blink Shackle, they can get a Blink Dagger rush on Puppy, get a get a Roar off, things like that. There's a lot of good ways that they can catch. You're completely right with that. Actually, all five of their heroes can catch, essentially. <laughs> It's going to be a little scary for Mineski when Seeker get aggressive. Bottom lane, Bane's coming through. There is a Sonic Wave available, and Reggie Potato might go for the straight up kill attempt. There will be a nightmare, though. That's going to hold him back, and Pilot Eye should be all right there. I saw Raging Potato just trying to wait for that opportune moment to get the Sonic Wave through, but it's not going to happen for the time being. So I'll force Bane back, and he's got bottle charges anyway, so no big loss for him. Continue to pressure the tower a little bit. Well, this is more like the beginning of the pressuring of the tower. And try to catch Darkseer up a little bit on the top lane. Uh, I'm sorry, not Darkseer, Nightstalker. Darkseer is actually level 9. He's having a great game up here. Now Ryo working, of course, towards that mechanism. And as you said, Jesse Vash hanging up top, but probably won't see him look for anything more across the map until nighttime hits again. He's trying to build up his earth. We are just seeing what he can take away from Cuckoo, just clearing up the jungle camp. I mean, on this PL, this game, would you expect to see a pretty much straight-up defusal rush? Yeah, I think Diffusal Rush is super good this game. Um, it, it counteracts the Windrunner's ability to get away, basically, because as soon as she uses Windrun, you just slow her. So that uh, movement speed advantage she would get would be a little bit lessened. It also can remove uh, Ember Spirit's Flame Guard, which means that he's not going to be able to do damage to the Illusions as fast. Oh, bottom lane, there's your Sonic Wave. And Puppy, he might just tick out. He's going to look for the TP back, but I think he's gone oh, all just TP. in time. And now Misery with the RP. He's looking for the return kill. Potato will get the blink out. But indeed, that TP here, uh, just getting him back in time to get that fountain regen in a very close call for Puppy. That's quick decision making, basically. He, he knew there's no way that I'm going to survive this unless I teleport, and he made the TP really nicely done by him. And that wastes the, the quapult. They did lose an RP in, in the exchange, but again, Misery is still super far ahead compared to most offlane Magnuses, so uh, he's going to be absolutely fine. He's getting kind of close to his, his blink dagger. But yeah, uh, Phantom Lancer definitely will go for a Diffusal Blade. Um, we're going to see Darkseer after he finishes a mech go for a blink, most likely. That way they can do uh, Vacuum into Static Storm Kinetic Field. If they can get a couple of good ones off, then Secret is easily going to lose team fights. But I think they're going to have the the, the presence of mind to not group up too much, especially because of the heroes they have. They're a mix of range and melee, so I, I think there's a unlikely that we'll see a super big static storm this game, but probably maybe some three men's. 
looking in terms of items, it's probably going to be the Orchid Rush here for the Quop after the Treads. So it's going to be nice against some of these heroes. Of course, Envy does have his Boots of Travel now, so he's going to really be able to make uh, as much as he can from uh, multiple lanes and always have that opportunity to turn up to the fights when they do kick off. And we may very well see a fight kick off on the top lane because Mineski's smoking up. The three of them at, the, at this point in time looking to fight. Envy's there in the lane, but Puppy is on the sidelines. He's yet to hit level six. Ah, oh, now he's got it. He's got the level six, so he's got They're that scared. primal roar. And yeah, Secret just don't wanna don't wanna risk a fight there. I mean they have this hawk scouting up between the tier one and tier two, and Mineski saw that, but the problem is that it, by it not seeing any single heroes that they're absolutely afraid right now, and that's exactly what's happening. Plus it's nighttime, so they know Night Stalker is likely to be aggressive right oh. now. Interesting skill build out of him. He's even gone for a second. Bottom lane, level Jules. Tonight. He's going to get caught up. They're not going to follow through, though. I wondered if they were because we saw Misery moving down as well, but didn't have the RP for a few seconds. This could be Pi dying for sure. Let's have a look. Kuki chasing it down there with the slow from, from the Spirit Lance. There we go. There's the second one. A Pi Light Die. Yeah. Tried to turn around for a brain stab. It's going to happen. That's going to be another kill there for Mineski. Probably so not wins. finding anything there. Probably wouldn't have mattered if he brains tapped or not, so I, I don't really criticize him for that. If he had a teleport scroll, he would have been absolutely fine, but just a small thing that happens when you're looking around for heroes. I, I don't, he didn't really accomplish much down there, though. I guess he did find um, the Disruptor, but... Another smoke comes out. They've got Static Storm this time, though. And Night Stalker is still waiting top. In the meantime, uh, Envy's farming only safe places, sitting in the jungle, things like that. But Puppy's six now. He can actually cover him if he does get ganked. So I think that's why Envy went to the jungle for a bit there. Let's see if they can do this. Envy coming out. It's going to rely on Jesse getting jumped. The static storm's there straight away. And here they go. Controlling Envy. Stuck in the gank. storm. He's gone okay. down. <laughs> Sonic away. More like a Sonic slap to the face there for Jackie. He's down. And they might even look for more. Nighttime has been so oh, the They'll get the glimpse on Misery. They could look for a second kill. He'll get the skewer back towards the tower. Puppy's there with the raw to hold back. Nice dog up there. Again, did you kinetic field trapping the boat? They look for oh, TP Misery. RP. Tries for the RP, but he's gonna go down. They'll get two kills, Mineski. Puppy will escape. But Mineski finding a very favorable fight on the top lane. Yeah, that was a really good gank by Mineski there. Just sending Jules in the instant static storm. They didn't even mess around with like Night Stalker getting his silent or his silence off. They wanted the instant disable to prevent Envy from jumping out, and they got him. Huge kill. A bit of a waste from uh, Queen of Pain. I don't think she needed to use her ult, but they wanted to be safe. They've spent a lot of time trying to kill Envy here, and that was two ganks basically. They wanted to guarantee that second one failed, so I don't falter too much. Yeah, Mech now complete here on the darks here. You look towards the PL. He's only a few hundred gold away from having that defusal as well for these fights. That is absolutely going to be huge. It's actually a very dangerous thing to put Phantom Lancer mid. Uh, not for the player that or the team that's doing it, but look usually well for the other it. opponents. Yeah, it's it's very consistent. It's hard to gank him because he has doppelganger. He can really leverage the bottle for... He can harass your opponent. He can't AoE farm very well, and sometimes he gets a little zoned out. But for, against typical mid heroes like Queen of Pain, he can actually just doppelgang to remove oh, the dagger. Oh, puppy. They're going to chase him down. The slow's no there from TP. the Shadow Strike. Here's Jesse oh, coming around juking. as well. He's going for the Duke. Is he going to make it? No, they found him with a vacuum. And Puppy will try and turn, but nothing he can do to survive here. And Mineski starting to run circles around Secret. There and that's is. your defusal done. And he's getting a lot more levels than you normally get as a PL, so you can maybe justify getting more skill points and less stat points. So it'll be a little bit better for his illusions, chasing down heroes and things like that. So this defusal blade is going to do a lot, really. You can remove silences, you can remove some negative debuffs. Uh, There's the shockwave though. That's still the scary part, is the empower. He's up to 40% now. Yeah, that with an Ember Spirit. In these fights where Kuku's got a fair few illusions out, they're gonna have to be scared, Mineski. Oh, Mineski for the time, they're not scared at all. They're looking for more. They're smoking up from the top. Secret is going for Roshan there with the DD on Weeha. It looks like they'll get away with it here. I don't know if Mineski can get there in time. They realize now. They saw Envy come out. It's, it's a cool idea. They got the DD on Weeha, but oh. will they kill it in time? Or maybe they won't. The PL is right around the oh, corner here. Close. Envy's incredibly low. The Spirit Lance, Envy's gonna look for the TP out. It has to remnant away because the fact the illusion it's was so about low. to 700 kill him. HP. Can they go in Puppy's for the Look at him, he's looking for an RP. Oh, no. the Sonic Wave wants to do He's gonna get it. The kinetic field, they did manage to get it. Weeha Weeha. did pick up the Aegis, but they've already lost two, and they might lose Weeha again. in the full fight oh, round of MVP down at Weeha. It's three down in the pit, and Secret 
again just getting crushed by Maneski, who seemed to be making the right decisions every single time. I, I think that was a that was a secret error more than it was Maneski. I mean, Maneski played amazing to smoke at that point, but they just assumed Seeker was hanging around the mid tower. But as soon as they saw Envy down there, they knew they're trying to sneak a Roche, and they thought they could get away with it because of the DD on Weeha, but it just was not enough damage. Roche got so low, but then they're out because so many heroes had to stop attacking. Ember Spirit had to stop attacking, you know? And Puppy as well. Puppy got down to low HP. They were just asking for it at that point. If Maneski would have been really passive there, yeah, they would have been absolutely fine. They would have got the Roche. They would have got a big advantage. But that going to Maneski here is very, very dangerous. I'm just looking at Kuku as well. So now he's got the 1200 on top of the Diffusal. If he gets another big item out... He's not died yet at all this game, and he's yeah. been playing very, very safely. Now they're going to look for Envy on this top lane here. If they can get the sound, silence through for Jesse tough. Bash, and all oh, straight away with the Remnant Well. If they had like a Quelling Blade or something like that, they could have gotten that kill, but they were just slightly too far away based on the tree's positioning to get that kill. Might get caught here. They'd love to find Kuku. The Shackle isn't going to quite latch hey, the range. Kuku, they're chasing this all the way down. Three this of them, four him. of them, in fact. He's fine. They can fight this. Oh, wait. Pilot Eye. Is he going to get the grip? If he gets the grip, it's over. He's out. And okay. now the CP's incoming from the side of Maneski. And doesn't look like going to try and turn. But not again, drawing a lot of tension and a lot of time from Secret up to that top lane. Yeah, not the most dangerous thing, because if he did get Searing Chains, another thing you can do with Diffusal Blade is remove that from yourself. So he's got a lot of counters to Ember Spirit, other than the cleave damage that's going to come from late, come from him later. So I would probably grab a Manta here. Um, if he doesn't want a Manta, and he'd rather just get a lot of HP, something like a Scotty would be good too. I got Misery and Pilot Eye hanging around. Misery does, of course, have that RP back available. Jesse Vash hiding in the trees. And in fact, well, just two enemy. enemies hanging out. I'm not aware of each trees. other's presence here at the moment. And they're just <laughs> exchanging. I mean, they, right. they look I mean, like they could be friends. They both look pretty evil. Oh. Oh. He, oh. No. No, they don't sense anything. Oh, he's going to see him now. Oh, oh he's okay. in perfect oh, positioning. Oh. Jesse Vash, I can guarantee he's... Here we go. TP, oh, TP, TP, all come. Oh, he doesn't sound. Where's he sound? Where he sound? Be a nightmare. Wait, okay. All right, the glimpse comes. It's going to be all right. Yeah, they're still going to... They catch him here in the kinetic okay. field. Oh, Pilot will go down. That's get exactly it. why you wait in the trees like that, because sometimes your opponents get into a position where it's as if you have a blink dagger. Like, yeah, maybe you waste a little bit of time, but then somebody passes you, and it's the easiest gank ever. I don't know why he didn't silence. Maybe to save some mana here, because he doesn't want to go back to base, but... They got the kill. Nice little pickup there. And now it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. Another reason that he was just waiting. He's like, it's daytime. I'm not going to do anything anyways. I might as well wait for the easiest gimp ever. I mean, so. at the same time, Secret, some of them did smoke up around the bottom into the jungle. They were looking for Cuckoo, but he's, he's just playing so elusively every time, just avoiding these rotations from Secret. Envy is starting to build on that Battle Fury, but we can already see Maneski getting ahead in terms of the net worth. And and you, you never really want to be going up against a Phantom Lancer if he starts to get ahead of you. I, they have the solution entirely, though. They, I mean, they do have already him. so good at it. Yeah. It's basically like he has a Battle Fury right now because of having him power. And once he does get a Battle Fury, he's going to be doing 85% cleave. And that gives you full cleave on all those illusions. Like, if he ever uses Doppelganger, Cuckoo just kind of dies is basically what happens. He's going to have to spawn illusions, send them at somebody, and walk away from them. And I think this is a great reason for him to level up Phantom Rush, which he's actually doing. He's got two points right now. And that's basically because Phantom Rush, it's, it's an amazing skill, but most PLs don't justify leveling up because they just feel they need more HP, they need more agility for damage on their illusions. But because he has such a level advantage right now, I absolutely agree with this. He needs to spawn illusions, and he needs to run away from them. Because every time that Envy uses Sleight of Fist, they're all, all going to take a stupid amount of damage, and him as well if he's in there. So spawn illusions, let them continuously chase down opponents on that four second Phantom Rush cooldown, and he can get away until those die, then resummon the illusions. Oh, he was so close. He was on the right track there, Raya. He looked for the vacuum as he knew that Misery would blink back and CP, but it was just a little bit slow off the mark on it. Oh, we all might catch someone. He's got a DD as well. Definitely has kill potential. Uh, Beastmaster is just going to go for the typical Necro build. Won't be seeing the fast blink or anything like that. The Necro would allow him to solo kill, so there's a lot of justification in that. Of course, we're going to see Night Stalker start to work towards that Aghanim. It's not going to be the quickest of times, but as we just saw, Aghanim's, of course, done on your Wim Ranger. It's going to also be the next item by looks for Raging Potato as he picks up his point booster. There's a lot of good items on Mineski right now. Blink Dagger on Darkseer. Um, there's a Glimmer Cape that Jules just got on the Disruptor. Going to be able to protect a lot of their heroes. A lot of Secrets damage is magical. It'll protect against uh, Focus Fire as well if they don't have detection. They are smoked up, though. 
I see they make a beeline forward. They've seen Jackie. They'd yes. love to kill the Amber Spirit. Oh, oh, the Hawk took damage from Angel. Will they notice? There, straight away, Ampy was out of there. Remnanting away, so so maybe that, that was what kind of gave the indication for him to jump. They also could have seen the Bounty Rune getting got picked up by uh, Phantom Lancer as well. Another thing, if they have their camera there and they're watching, they can notice that happening. It would have been that or an invisible hero, so nice plays from Secret there. They're playing defensively enough. On top lane, we are going to be able to find the tower there with the DZ. Bottom lane, looks like Maneski might look just for a trade, starting to put the pressure on onto the tier one bottom. And also Raging Potato going to join them as well here and make his way across. And the line is drawn straight towards the tier two, so maybe they just continue the push here and try and force Secret to fight. Yeah, that's basically what they need to do. Secret definitely got the advantage in the last two minutes. They got a tower by themselves that he was safe while they had other people farming. And they will initiate soon. He's got his Battle Fury ready. And the empowers we can see on the end, but doing a oh, fair bit. See Vash in trouble. And they found Pilot Dive. Pilot Dive's going to get silent. Shackle will latch onto Vash. Misery, oh, there's the Vash. Misses. Through. They get the statics from the kinetic field of a trap. We are the rules out onto the Queen of Pain. Misery caught in the midst of it all. They do get Fiends going onto Jesse. There's the RP, good RP. Oh, but Misery's now down. It's a 1 for 1 at the moment because they did lose Rage and Potato on the Quap. Heavy trying to do what he can with the Slight Fist. He's, 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 he's in trouble, no man. And he's out of luck as well. Ember's going to go down. It's a killing spree for Cuckoo on this Phantom Lancer. And they will succeed in the fight and they may even be able to take the tier two again exactly the plan for Maneski they've oh, even got a clear back puppy's being oh, he's out. in trouble the is there he's stuck in the field killing spree for Jesse Vash and once again another pick off from Maneski they're playing so well right now they have all the counters to deal with secret and secret just did not fight that well the initial blink skewer from misery completely whiffed secret they did grip the night stalker and they dodged out of the kinetic field but that was it at that point you're escaping from a team that has a disruptor and there's just no salvation against that and as soon as they drain envy's mana he's dead he's in a really dangerous part right now he's got the damage items he needs to scale but he isn't at the point where he's just naturally leveled up a bunch of times and has something close to a 1000 mana pool if he runs out of mana he dies he can't use his jump anymore and it costs 150 mana it's very expensive so diffuser blade right now completely counters him some big the fact that there's greaves now done on this dark seer the, the, these fights are going to get harder and harder for the side of secret uh, they, they need something big they need a multi-man rp they need to be the ones finding the setup and initiating because time and time and again again it's just mineski smoking up looking for the jumps and even when secret seems to be kind of ready for it mineski just play the engagements that little bit smarter yeah basically uh with in Secret's defense, if Maneski is using a lot of smokes now, that means they can't do it later. And in the late game, if, if Secret can drag this out until 40 to 50 minutes or so, then, like you said, if they just get a monster RP, he's going to slide a fist once and everybody's going to die. It will happen at some point. So Maneski still has to be so vigilant that they don't get caught in that way. Because if they do, it's completely over, and everything they work for up until this point could just melt away. And Envy's certainly keeping his game up. He may have died three times, but he's still top of the one terms net worth. Top, oh. They're going to go for the RP Great there. Glimmer. That's going to keep him alive, I Do think. Do they not have detection? He's got a they glimpse back, okay. Pylite die. Static, so can get onto two TPs will be coming through, oh, they'll kill Jules. Oh. Can Maneski look for any kind of turn? It doesn't look like they will. So they do still get the kill. It's a bit of a sloppy one from Secret. Yeah, I I think he made a slightly wrong choice there by going for... He, he could have glimpsed Bane. He had to glimpse Bane, Bane and silence the other heroes. Low chance he was going to live. It basically required Maneski to TP instantly. They TP'd in reaction to his good ulti, but that's too late. They have to be there for that. So, small miscommunication mistake. They oh. should have maybe tried to cover him. Okay. Envy just walking past Ryo there. <laughs> and Ryo walking past Envy. See you later. <laughs> At this point, it's all about what Misery can do with the team. Oh, oh potato. He's found Pilot. Right. He's going to go for the TP There's out no here. Way. It's too late. Yeah. Well, I mean, that looks cool. I, it's a waste of mana, but... Can't pass. It's beautiful, though. It's just... Get it. How does that even fly? I mean, it's not even frisbee like <laughs> shape. Oh, it missed. Yeah. Ah. Come Dodged. on, step it up, Quap. And Puppy just continues to get the levels up. He's level 11 now on this Beastmaster. That's that's really good. He's been farming consistently this whole time, basically. All the times that Secret is doing aggressive plays, it's basically Wind Ranger far in front, Magnus sitting behind, and Bane sitting behind. They have a very good ability of killing a single target, and they have a very good ability of taking down like three man skirmishes. So, in that entire meantime, Puppy farms. If we look at his net worth, he's sitting in what? He's not that amazingly high, but Beastmaster, Beastmaster with just a little bit of farm is actually very strong. Once he gets a Necro 3, he yeah. can still solo kill people, especially heroes like Disruptor, maybe even Phantom Lancer, Queen of Pain definitely. Although Queen of Pain actually has a ridiculous amount of mana, so there's a low chance of him burning through all of that, but him getting levels right now is really good for his team. And we've got the Ags 
pretty much nearly being done for the side of Maneski, and well, it's just going to be an illusion that they catch out here. Nothing else. Uh, Night Stalker just less than 250 gold away from his Ags, and Queen just under se uh, 650 away from her, so they're almost certainly going to be up by the time the next fight comes around, and going to make it that bit harder for Secret. They've also got the gem picked up by Darkseer here from Maneski. Yeah, but there is a blink down Wind Ranger, so yeah. their catch is getting to be really strong. Any hero that isn't the tankiest person on Maneski could very easily just die. Especially if there's two heroes, anybody dies. Wind Ranger plus one, anyone on Maneski dies. This is where things get scary, because Secret basically only has to commit two heroes, and right now it's Bane and Wind Ranger. Whereas the other three heroes, they can farm, they can stack, they can go split push in other lanes. So it's scary for Maneski to passively farm. For them, even to set up a gank against Wind Ranger, it can easily turn around and them dying, have them dying. So they've got to make really good decisions from here out. Yeah, there's a lot of money on this Ember Spirit MV, and he's okay. He's going to invest straight up in the BKB. So I guess he does have the damage okay. output from the Empower, just keeping himself alive. As just getting a couple yeah. of slight fists out in these fights is. Is that's what's going to be important for Secret, really keeping the Ember alive. It, it's basically protection against Disruptor ulti is the main thing. It, and as well, the Orchid. He could buy a Manta stop, but Manta doesn't cover him against Disruptor ult. And Manta doesn't help him that much against Diffusal Blade, because, yeah, you can mantle off the first Diffusal Blade, but he's just going to slow you again right after. So he basically has to get a BKB just to make sure that he's survivable against Disruptor ulti, because if he ever gets caught, dead. With BKB, he's got some some solutions. So while it does slow his farm a bit, the HP is nice, and maybe a gank on him will come now, but he, again, still has that BKB. I mean, potentially, might be able to force out the BKB here, potentially, if he goes for the Orchid. Nice. They don't even have stuns on their team, if you look at them. There's actually... That's true. Other than Vacuum. you got a Vacuum. It's all about the control it's with the Disruptor. It's a big stun. The, the Dark seems to Disruptor, really, in these team fights, and obviously yeah. Jesse Vash with the... The crippling fear and the void to lock someone down, but, and but there, you're right, there's not a lot of interrupts. There's not even like an immediate solution. Uh, maybe they could get Bash Ram Phantom Lancer. It's not a terrible item now because your hero does a large amount of damage, but I, I don't even know if that's the solution. Jesse Vash almost breaking smoke. They spot Eternal Envy, but it's only Envy. Those illusions just died. That was, that was incredible. Um, this BKB is such a great pickup by Envy. He completely read the situation. They don't have a solution for it. The only solution is ignore Envy. Oh, and get the other shackle, kills, no And he's going to be able to doppelganger right here. So Puppy's going to have trouble finding a primal roar onto someone. Need to kill this Hawk. All right, Hawk's dead. Vision is way better from an Esky now. There's, There's a glimpse back. Bringing Puppy back into the kinetic field. They interrupt the world over the void. But now the shackle will catch on to Jesse Vash towards the top. They're looking the to try and bring him down. Oh, he's very tanky to get the silence onto Weeha. Sonic Wave as well bringing him low. Envy's trying to move through, but the Guardian Grease have been popped. He's stuck in the static storm, but there's your BKB coming out. Puppy's already going to go down. Envy will find the return onto Darkseer, but Weeha falls as well. It's a two for three, and Cuckoo's still trying to fight. BKB still on Envy. They'll be the doppelganger trying to rearrange himself. Oh, the, the damage. BKB's there it is. Out. There's your Gleef damage. He might die so low. Just about the red red. Oh, gets him. Double kill for Envy. He finds it. And now the slight, the change. Onto Jules. He may have lost three, but Envy's doing his best to carry his team. And I can't quite get the last hit onto Jules. He will get glitched back. The I with the, for the TP away. Ends up as a three for three purge. That was a really big fight for Secret there. That 10 second BKB felt like it lasted for way longer than 10 seconds. Oh, is he? he... Uh, he's... Oh. oh, that was close. I don't know if he would have killed him, but he would have got him low for sure. He could kill him right now. He doesn't have BKB. Oh. He doesn't have the mana pool, though. Okay. So, yeah, he's, he's going to be all right. Not going to for the Sonic. Okay. What a good fight, though. Uh, he basically killed the Phantom Lance. You saw it there. He used Doppelgang. Boom, Slight of Fist comes. Goes down to 10% HP. Good try to, uh, good attempt at the save there with the Glimmer Cape, but it just wasn't enough to keep him alive. And they lost the gem there, which means Night Stalker's really big vision advantage is going to be a little bit harder to control now. When he pops his ult, it still is going to re reduce the advantage of Secret, or the vision advantage of Secret, but losing the gem is definitely a big loss. They're probably even still on cooldown here. Uh, no, they could buy another one, actually. Okay, Pile of Dive will be able to Glimmer Cape that one off. Raging Poseidon came through, but couldn't quite get the slow up. And also worth noting as well, uh, we could, oh, that, that bit unfortunate dewarding attempt there. As uh, Secret will be able to maintain their vision on the Radiant Jungle. And uh, of course, the Disruptor now, the fact that there's a BKB, he's going for the Aghanims, and he's got to really, hasn't he? Yeah, uh, which are you... Of the Disruptor. Uh, dis yeah, exactly, because that's basically a counter, again, to the Black King Bar, because it prevents you from activating items, so as long as he casts it before the BKB comes up, then no BKB will come unless he gets outside of that. And it also increases the duration. It's a really, really good Ags upgrade, frankly. Um, but it's mainly about preventing the items. It's the BKB counter. He's 
Also going to be limited a bit on mobility if he rushes eggs instead of getting something like a blink. But luckily they have a dark seer to compensate for that. He can make him run max movement speed with the surge ability. So they have some options here. They just need to go do a little bit better in the next team fight. It wasn't an awful team fight for Maneski, but they would love to do better than they did. We saw Maneski there, maybe looking in towards the Roche pit, but they've got to be very careful doing that against this lineup with this Magnus, with his RP. Now, secret now, we'll be able to get the D ward, get a bit more map control around the pit. Oh, MV. He was he was just split pushing. He wasn't actually trying to attack three heroes. He's good looking so scary though. I mean, he's got empower. He's got battle fury now. He's getting a crystallis. He could just get a little lucky on eight illusions and people just start dying. It's so scary for Mineski. Yeah. Envy's got to feel real good right now. Yeah, he's certainly been playing this game really well as well. Just the, the net worth as well. We saw him get picked out earlier three times, but he's kept himself relevant and he's kept himself at the top. And, and this is, there's a lot invested on this Ember Spirit for the side of Secret. Yeah. A lot of weight on Jackie's shoulders. I, I don't think it's that, that heavy, though, to, to hold this up. At this I mean, point, yeah. The, all he's got to do back. is press BKB before he gets Static Storm. That's the only thing that he's got to be afraid of here. Mm. Queen of Pain's making a BKB. I kind of wish she would just get a Hex, honestly. Because killing the Ember Spirit is just so hard. Yeah, it, pro it protects her from Shackle Shot, but she can still be RP'd with BKB. She can still be Fiend's Grip. She can still be Roared. There's three good ways for them to deal with her. The one thing that she's really countered by, though, is Searing Chains. So I can, you can justify BKB in that sense, but man, they need some lockdown and they need to start killing Jackie. No, I mean, Envy next with this this big influx of gold, I guess he just finishes off the Daedalus here for the Ember Spirit. Yeah, it's definitely the straightforward way to go. And then afterwards, it's not crazy to go another damage item. Probably MKB for sure will be the next item since there is a bit of evasion on Phantom Lancer. He may be going for a Butterfly, but I think it's probably better to go tanky here. And I don't like Heart this game. I think he needs to continue to scale for damage, kind of. With the same thing said, if he ever gets a doppelganger off and gets Slight of Fist right after, he kind of also needs to be able to back off and heal. So it's a hard item choice here for Cuckoo. And here we go. Secret, nicely timed with the smoke as well. Waited for the PL illusion to disappear, and then they go straight to work. Mineski themselves, they are making motions towards the pit smoked up, but it's not going to be quick enough. Secret have got more than enough damage. They'll take Roche. I don't think Maneski will necessarily want to try and fight this secret. It looks like they're not going to give him the option to. They're back up, hanging around by the secret shot. Maybe seeing if Maneski did continue with a smoke up there. But they're just going to head back to lane Maneski and not look to engage at this point. Yeah, they're scouting with a Necro Archer. And they're just hoping to catch Ember Spirit if he ends up coming bottom, basically. That's the best thing they could do. Especially if he TPs for the lane, for example. They could... Well, I guess they can't even Static Storm still. They still don't have the eggs on Disruptor. It's not like he's farming much. The only way he gets this is if they take a fight. The only way they win a fight is if he has an egg. So they're in this like weird conundrum right now where they don't really have any of the solutions. They need to get solo picks, and they actually, I don't even think they want to take a full team fight. And I don't even know if killing Ember is the hero. Go for anybody else. But same thing goes. Wind Ranger has a BKB now. Their draft really limited them once the BKBs came out, and I think they just didn't get quite enough out of the early game. I would say it certainly gets to the point where Secret's looking very scary, and we can see in the net worth how any kind of early lead has now been negated. It's pretty much neck on neck between the two sides. And uh, XP starting to swing over in favor of Secret. It's all going to be really down to this next fight when it does kick off. Who's going to be able to set the precedent and start to get that momentum really going their way? But as you've been saying, Purge, it certainly feels like Secret have already started to do that. Mm -hmm. Disruptor backing off. I... Was that you? Me? Yeah. It sounded like me, didn't it? It did. <laughs> <laughs> Misery going back. You, and it, yeah, it was me. Was you. you got me. That I was just trying right. to put it on you. <laughs> well, 36 minutes in, 16 for 8. We saw a lot of action at the start, but Secret has certainly managed to slow it down, which is, is wow. Looking at the numbers, favoring their lineup. It's time to ramp it it's up. It's go time. We're looking for Potato. He gets the BKB out just in time. Azure is a little bit slow, though, with an RP potential follow up, so Potato will get himself out of this one. That's going to be the 10 second BKB now gone. He was hoping for a rune to get full HP, but. See, that's, that's the issue with BKB. I, I guess if he had BKB there, he was perhaps dead, but they just really don't have the solutions. Maybe it was just a poor Orchid game, honestly, if you think about it. They already had a Night Stalker. Do you really need to protect or to have that counter against Ember Spirit when he's very likely to go either Manta or BKB? Uh, I, I definitely, you oh, could definitely criticize him. Oh, he's moving him. We have a juice. He's got the glimmer here. 
I've got the gem in range, so it's, it's going to be oh, fine. They can, here it comes. Okay, Glimp getting the Static Storm out, so we know oh, will be Glimmer caped up. And as you said, does still have the BKB here. And I'll try and jump forward there. It's going to bring him pretty low. In fact, he might go down and lose the Aegis yeah. here, and he will. But as you said, just saving the BKB for the next fight. If it does continue, Secret's still hanging around here, ready to go. If Mineski want to bring it. But Mineski, it looks like they're going to leave it. They've got a bit of pressure going on on the top lane from the Darks here. And the rest of them are just going to hang in the base. That's Jackie TPing back up. He could basically stop the split push and show back up again. I'm sure he has a remnant down. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I, I think that's the main thing we can criticize Mineski for right now is the, the fast Orchid pickup. The problem is that Orchid builds up so much better in the early game for Queen of Pain. Whereas if you go Hex, it's very expensive. You have to buy like a 2,000 gold item and another 2,000 gold item. But it would leave Mineski so much stronger right now. I, I'm, I'm not sure if they'd have the same position if she didn't have the Orchid, but... But I feel like she didn't get that much value out of the Orchid in the early game. It was useful in a couple team fights, but it may have been better to just go team fight with your team a lot, maybe go Hex, because they just have no solutions right now. Right, I'm going to try and look for Weeha. Okay, I'm going to force the BKB out. Weeha may be looking to turn to try for a Shackle shot. Right, simply just going to get himself out of there. That was the 10 seconds, so Orchid paid off in that way. And eventually, when those go down to 5, so Orchid will be good again, but... <laughs> Envy just does so much damage now. Daedalus Battle Fury and he's power. He's got so much. It's hitting for 300, and he's cleaving about 80% of that, so about 200. No, more than that. That's bad math. On the try and jump on him. They get the size, but there's your BKB in now. Just use the side of fish. Oh, he's turn in trouble. And your RP from Misery. Beautiful leading in. They'll take down one. They'll get two. Double kill for Envy. And Secret stepping it up. Jules over the team of the chase. They're there in time from Envy. They're going to get themselves a third. Triple kill for the Ember Spirit. <laughs> and Secret finally turning up in style down the bottom lane. Yeah, that was a huge RP from Misery there. Canceling a TP and guaranteeing the Queen of Pain kill. She was probably dead anyways, because she had like three seconds left on Blink, and she'd already used her Black King bar. And she only has nine armor, you know? Envy is happy to hit her in a melee combat, so she initiated bad choice from her. They weren't going to kill Ember Spirit. Yeah, they're trying to waste BKBs, so but they just oh, have three heroes. Look at that. Slight damage, yeah. The cleave is too much for Kuka. Pilot down, oh. probably there. Can they find the right one? There's the Fiend Script but nope, they're going to lose the They get unlucky again. They don't get the right oh, one he's... twice, and now he He's doing it. He's looking for Pilot Knight. They might oh, get they him. They will. <laughs> so he gets out. Secret try their luck twice. Okay. Uh, they're going to try their luck oh. again. Oh, three times unlucky here oh, for the boys. Trouble. Now they'll he, try and move forward. Is he not going to get here for a second? The shackle no shot. Shackle. They're going to put the power shots off the mark. Ooh. Wee -haw. Oh, man. It was a great dodge from Cuckoo there. He, as soon as he went out of night vision range, he went up. That power Literally shot dodged definitely... everything there, that Pia. Yeah, that power shot definitely would have killed him. Great item build thus far. The Talisman completely paying off there. The Wind Ranger wasn't able to kill him. And he is going to be going for a heart. He's all about the HP at this point. The only way to survive the slate, basically. I mean, we, the thing is, though, when you, as she was saying earlier, going for the heart, you can turn around, survive, maybe kill a support, but in terms of killing the tankier heroes, he's still going to need that damage item. Like especially, the butterfly complete. Yeah, especially if they have things like RP. There's no hiding when you're stunned in a clump with your illusions and he slide fists you once. You... I, the heart doesn't counteract the cleave that Jackie's putting out. It's not scaling in any way equivalently. Like, that's the overpowered thing about Empower. It gives you 50% cleave. That cleave is pure damage. It's adding on what he already does. And the illusions just get so clumped that it's, it's one of the hardest counters in the game. Uh, looking for Envy on the bottom, but again, just quick with these movements back. Playing very safely, and uh, of course with that MKB now, the Talisman, a less of an issue here on this PL when Envy tries to fight. Although it was too much anyway, I mean just with the slide and the cleave, already just seeing the PL melt when he's around his illusions. They just have to have good team fights, and they have to initiate first. And they still don't have the solutions. Darkseer does have a Mystic Staff. Um, normally we see a Shivas, but I think this has to be a Hex. It absolutely has to be. He's already got a Blink, so the initiation would be pretty good. They need hard disables right now. They need hard disables 10 minutes ago. Secret. Maybe looking to go. There's a lot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that cleave damage is sent Ryo packing. He's got to run away. And that costs Jackie 50 mana. That's all. It's pretty terrifying. DD and power, the amount of items he's got under his belt, it's going to do it. I'm mean, Neski, I'm not going to want to come anywhere close to this Ooh, push I like from their Secret. Move. Going for the, oh, on the yeah. top. 
damage on Weeha. Uh -huh. Okay, he, 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 he could actually spot. die here. He's, Weeha, we are we trying to turn with a focus fire, actually forcing Raging Potato back. So, Wind okay. Range is going to be alright there. I'm surprised they didn't follow up on that. All they have to do is keep them alive until the BKB ends, and then they could have killed them. Oh, definitely dangerous, and they traded a BKB for a BKB, but I'd say Secret, Secret's BKBs are much more valuable, like we said, because it counters all their abilities. So, maybe Minesu's game plan is get into little engagements, force them to pop BKB, get those down to 5 seconds. Even if it costs us 5 seconds BKB, they still have far better ultimate disables that go through that. So, it's better to trade at this point those BKBs than it is for you to keep yours big. So, at least they're, they're making space in that avenue. Like, Weehaw's BKB, 8 seconds now. Eternal Envy's, he's 8 seconds as well. So they're still pretty good, but after 2 more uses, they're going to be in bad territory. A bit of an interesting uh, choice of item pick up there from Puppy. He actually goes for the Veil here on the Beastmaster. Um, that's actually very weird. Uh, it synergizes with Power Shot, Fiend's Grip, um, Ember Spirit's God. magic damage, but... Uh, Magnus... Shockwave Skewer. Very, very unusual item. I think it's a very good item, and I think there's a lot of synergistic approach, but but uh, this game... Oh, okay. Um, thanks, Pimp. Uh, Pimp Uncle reminding me, when you use Veil on Phantom Lancer, it tell, it shows you which one is the real one. Yeah. It makes them glow extra purple, yeah. so that is definitely the reason why. Okay, so you're yeah, using it because... I mean, we saw already how they had trouble kind of discerning the real one from the fake one, so yeah. the Veil is certainly going to help that out. I wonder if you can defuse a blade off the buff, though. I feel like you might be able to. In which case, he's going to have to buy a new defuse. Also. I was going to say, how many charges has he got left? He's got no, three, he's three, so he okay. can upgrade it to the next one. It'll give him a buff of 15 agility, and then, uh, yeah, eight more charges. Defuse a blade's very good right now. And there's the hex for Queen of Pain. Okay, she, oh, she sold the orchid. Okay. Okay, I, uh, you're on board with that. I was like, she's, yeah. she does not have that kind of money. She wasn't scaling well, but I think this is worth it. Sell the orchid, get the hex. This is exactly what they need here. And I am sure that Darkster is going to do the same thing. He's very close, less than 500 gold, and he'll also have a hex. Well, secret of the moment around the Roche pit, and they're going to go for Roshan. Mineski, yeah, I've got a few heroes around but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get there nearly in enough time a secret just power down on on the brute and they'll be able to get themselves the aegis and of course that cheese as well now this next fight going to be even harder for mineski to try and turn around paladine moving towards vash you know, get himself forced forward there by misery they might have the moment of surprise though because he did sell his orchid he was nowhere near close to hex they could show it right now they could kill envy if they get up here with like two or three heroes, okay, he leaves. Never mind. They need to not show this hex on Raging Potato, though. It's extremely important because Secret feels like we have the easiest game ever. Like, Disruptor still doesn't have eggs. They don't have any hexes. Maybe Darkseer has one, but doesn't seem like he has one yet. If they show up, like, show Darkseer on one side of the map, and then Queen plus one sets up a hex gank on the other side, boom. Envy could die, especially because he doesn't have Aegis. He just has cheese. They only have three and a half seconds, so that's the other issue. They got to kill him in a very short amount of time. Oh, he's got so much money again on in the Samba Spirit. And just look at the net worth difference. He's 10k higher than the highest hero on the side of Mineski. That's that, that's that supercharge. First of all, Envy already farms really fast. Definitely one of the best carries in the world. And then you put him power on him. It's just really, really mean. He gets farmed so fast with this. And here we go. Secret. Very much ready to go on the aggressive. Still need to take down that tier 2 top. And we're going to see Envy... Botsing back there to get that creep wave going around. But this is it's getting to the point where it's going to be about the high ground defense from Mineski. And I mean, you look at Secret's lineup and they've got all the tools that they need to try and break that defense. All right, they have definitely shown the hex by now. There's a, ser there's a certain point where Queen of Pain can't just not farm. So I think she has reached it and they're going to know that these exist. Now there's two, which is really good for them. But they do have some defensive items. Glimmer Cape on Pile I Die here. Puppy, nothing for him. So really just a Glimmer Cape is the only salvation they have other than using their skills. So the hexes could pay off, but it's going to be so scary. A lot of times when you use a hex on somebody that's vulnerable and you say this is our only chance to kill them, you group up a little bit. And that's when the RP strikes. And then you've got four people in a group. So even with those attempts that they might have, they still have to be so careful. And it might, by them being careful, it might limit their damage a little bit, and that might mean that Ember Spirit doesn't die. And then they lose their opportunity anyway, so which, what is the best situation? The best situation is to kill him when he's by himself, obviously, but you don't always get that, so it becomes so hard here for Mineski to do this perfectly. There's so many factors they have to remember. 
And not something that we see all the time, but something else that's going to make it even harder to kill Envy. Going for that butterfly here on the Ember Spirit that's now complete. That is a rare Ember Spirit item, but I like it a lot, basically, because it's going to force Phantom Lancer to rather than build stats, he's going to have to get an MKB. Not something he really wants to do. It's not terrible on Phantom Lancer, but it does pretty much, it does nothing for his illusions. Just makes his hero stronger. It allows his illusions to hit through um, uh, True Strike as well. So that's one thing it does. It basically counters the Butterfly's evasion, but makes Ember Spirit much harder to hit, gives him a lot of attack speed, makes him better in a 1v1 fight. Means that Queen of Pain's going to miss most of the time as well. It's going to definitely limit the, the amount of damage they can do in a short period of time. So even in these Hex ganks, it'll help a lot. I get in here, that. The Disruptor. Hmm? You think I didn't hear that one? Hear what one? That wasn't me! All right, it's it's a hero. Maybe it's Pimp or something. Pimp. Someone's messing with us. Disruptor's closing in on his Aghanims. In fact, he's selling stuff to make sure he's going to have the gold. So 25 gold time, they will have that Aghanims upgraded Static Storm. But as you said, if he can get out the BKBs beforehand or don't get trapped in by the kinetic field, it's not going to mean that much. So Mineski are going to have to hope for the wombo combo of their life. It's just the fact that at the same time, Secret are going to be looking for their own. It's going to be a Ooh. little easier for them. So there's your axe. Let, let's see if they can do they, it here on the defense. They need a smoke or something because they need to approach us. Yeah. And yeah, they're just so one of the best ways to defend, especially if they have a Beastmaster Hawk, they're going to be able to see you most likely. And it's pretty clearly daytime. Daytime just started. So this is how Secret wants to do it. Here it comes. They get it. Uh, yeah, but already the got it down. Oh, it doesn't Jordan, catch him. Jordan. He's dead for 57 seconds to get off the static storm here. But the PKBs are out for Reggie. They're low. They have to do this. There'll be a nightmare there. RP comes out. We are incredibly low. He's got to run. Oh, the grip is so low. To survive is a double oh kill for God. the bane here and secret lose nothing and envy's looking to maybe move forward for more he drops down an aggressive remnant is it going to go to it focusing here on the tower fortification now coming out from Mineski. so the 70 seconds on the clock okay for and then oh, misery bringing skewer. jesse bash back in with a skewer we are with a focus fire taking down the night stalker and that's a third hero down on Mineski without buyback and now the racks are exposed they'll look for the vacuum oh, cancel vacuum. they do get it but envy just turns with the slide of fist and now he actually remnant to dodge the lance thrown out by cuckoo throws down Another has to pop the BKB because of the illusion bringing down his mana. Cuckoo, incredible. We are looking oh. at this man. He's going for it. He's going to get it nearly. Oh. Cuckoo will doppelganger back. He's still trying to find the kill. Can he get the last hit with the power shot? It's going to be on the point, but the regen is there. Weeha needs to be careful. We'll lose the Aegis. The secret do find the racks there on the bottom lane. Maybe looking to try for more. Weeha's oh, going to get hexed up straight away. They've got the Sprint Lance down. Cuckoo has he got the damage and he just hasn't. Weeha's going to be fine. Jackal gets thrown back. They're looking for a focus fire. Weeha's actually blinked in to look for the fight. There's his defusal play, but he gets four stars back here. Weeha glimmicates up as well. Is going to be okay. Glimpse in seven and they've got Static Storm up okay, again. Okay, but again the blink's there. They just need a little bit of mobility. Jules really needs to get searched here. Blink for Surge. Vision. Who are they going to get? Can they get Envy here? Yes, they can. They cancel the TP. Can they kill him? Oh, the Static big storm down. Envy, is he going to fall? He might guess that he will. Down for extra seconds. And now we are walking back. He's going to get Hex. Mineski looking for the turnaround. They're going to try and chase this here. They'll be the force getting Weehar away. Also, Blink out from Misery. Soccer. Can they chase this one down here? Pilot's eye right so on the edge fast. of the vision. Can oh, they get Weehar the though? He casted the animation, but it didn't go through because oh. his Thunderstrike just ended. That definitely would have been a Wind Ranger kill. Instead, they can grab Pilot Eye. Not the worst. Do they have detection? They do. They yeah, put a sentry, sentry down. Flamson him back here into the field. They'll take down the Bane. So they do lose the racks, but they yeah. do find kills off the back of it, and they do manage to get that high priority Ember Spirit. That wasn't all bad. It looks really bad for them. I mean, Secret got slightly lucky. It looked like there was a crit on Jules when the Sleight of Fist came through as he was ulting, and he wasn't able to catch Ember Spirit. If he caught him in that Static Storm, it would have been absolutely huge for Mineski, and they had to go for it. They got everybody so low, and unfortunately, it didn't look good, but because of that slight overdive from Weeha, they got him close to the fountain, and it was easy to keep him there. I mean, Weeha was playing and things so like that. aggressive. Yeah, and they didn't want to kill him at first either, because they were like, we're out of position. If we kill you now, you're going to blink aggressively with full HP, and then we just die. So they didn't feel comfortable killing him until they are all the way into the safety of their fountain, where he kept him in there. But it was a little too aggressive from Weeha, and because of the Disruptor, they could punish that retreat, and they got a lot of important kills. So losing Arax for that kind of gold exchange, I think it's okay. If you look at the net worth now, you know, they're about 2,000 gold higher than they were 10 minutes ago. They they might get their next items, and they have the items that they need yeah. to turn fights I'm, now. I mean, we, yeah, exactly as you said. We saw it already with the Corp and the Dark Sea. The fact that they've both got the Cypher Vices. Just fighting back into the aggression from Secret when the BKBs are gone. You've got the chase down potential from the Night Stalker and the Disruptor. Secret have to be very careful how they disengage because Mineski, they're going to chase you out of their base every time. Yeah, it's almost nighttime as well. They're checking for obvious Observer Wards. We'll see if the Night Stalker finds one in his base. Oh, he doesn't get it. It won't be that big of 
a deal right now, but when it comes to high ground, it will be. So we'll see if that impacts things. They'll be looking for wards until it's night. Once it's night, then the aggression comes. They're going to try to get a kill with that. Pilotite, glimmering up. Oh, potato might get caught. got the Fiend's Grip here. He can get it off. Uh, get the chains out, but the BKP pops straight away by Quat. Doesn't want to risk being caught out by the Bane with his Fiend's Grip. He is on five seconds now. Uh, more importantly, to get the follow-up. Yeah, he just wanted to remove this hearing chain so he could escape immediately. Oh, they get the hex on MP, but he gets forced out of the sonic wave. So he'll be fine. Static Storm's been dropped in the middle, but Big he doesn't RP. trap anyone. The clear damage. RP. The right clicks from MP as well. They'll bring down the disruptor. He's looking for more. Trying to get Cuckoo. Plus the mana style. Can't get out. Focus fires. There's a double kill for MP. The clear bringing Ryo low as well. And at the same time, back by the wall, they'll also take down the Night Stalker there. Pilot Eye Misery. So again, finding three kills. Mineski, they do have buybacks and they're going to use it. They're going to get the PL back in the game straight away. But Night nice Stalker and Disruptor are down and they don't have this static store for the fight. Envy, and into, into the base. And this ward's up too, so it's giving vision. That fight just did not go perfectly. They have to be the aggressors, but they didn't quite catch Secret right. And there's a force step on Bane as well. The quap ulti was wasted. It, they used it on creeps. Oh, wrong to Kuku. If he goes down now, they're looking to set up a oh, shackle. Oh, what a shackle. It's going to get the PL and the quap. PL is going to go down as well. Killing spree for Wee Heart and MV. And that, that is, is GG. Secret may have suffered in the early game, but they took it to the later portions and they just played a hell of a lot better. Yeah, that, that Ember, or I'm sorry, the PL pick definitely threw Secret a bit for a loop, but they said, screw it, we're going to play support Beastmaster. Puppy knows that he can handle it, and he played just fine. The The important part was, again, their aggressive trialing went so well, and Misery was able to get so much farm in the safe lane, so it transitioned into having that over.